Hello? Is this thing on? Ooh. What's up guys? It's your favorite Mystic the Siren Synth back at it again with another video. Another Avatar The Last Airbender video. I know, aren't y'all sick and tired of me? But these few videos that are going to come out are going to be mostly positive. Um, these are going to be my all about videos, all about characters that I care to speak about. More than likely going to be more main characters, except people like Suki isn't necessarily a super main character, which is a travesty. Which is a travesty. I was gonna put out a guitar video, you know, to make up for the opinions I had in my popular opinion video. But then, as I was on TikTok looking for some fan cams to put in this video, I saw one where it was like guitar and a Suki ship. And to me, it just felt like guitar versus Suki. Because you know what? Y'all got some nerve trying to defend guitar all damn day when you should be defending Suki. Okay? It took me a while to find Suki fan cast. You know, if you put up Suki, Fast and Furious comes up, random Asian people who are probably K-pop stars show up. So it took me a second, second longer than I wanted to, to find some decent Suki fan cams. Y'all are so rude. So rude. And so it, I'm going to put Katara on the back burner, okay? Because there are other characters here that deserves to be protected. Katara is fine. She can fend for herself. We all saw that, didn't we? We saw that, I know. Anyways, let us get into it. Suki is a protagonist in the show. She is a recurring character. She's not necessarily considered a super main character, obviously. But she reoccurs and then becomes a part of Team Avatar later on in Season 3. She's tough, confident, she's loyal, she's a leader, she's a fighter, she's compassionate. And you know what? She has a softer side. That softer side is usually shown around... Da -da -da -da, Sokka! I'm sorry, I love Sokka so much. But yeah, today I want to talk about Suki. And I was scared to talk about Suki. Not because I have any unpopular opinions about her. I, I really don't. I love her. Um, the only unpopular opinion I would have is that I would have preferred to have seen Sokka with Toph. But that's a personal preference. And to be honest, it's not something that I hammering down that I need super bad. It's just in hindsight, when you rewatch the show, you see who is more compatible. And it's a slight compatibility. It's not, you know, something that's big like, oh, it's obviously tough. Like, no, like, he could have gone either way. And he picked Suki. He never even looked at Toph that way, which is fine. But in hindsight, they could have aged her up and put her with Sokka. I'm sorry. But that's probably the only thing that might seem negative in any way that I would put towards her other than that i love her she's that girl and as you saw at the beginning of her fan cams her best scene that scene in the second episode look boiling rock goes there okay boiling rock goes there and you all are mad about it you're mad about it okay so one of the reasons why i was actually scared to make this video isn't because i have negative opinions about her because i really don't but i was scared to make this video because there's not much to talk about. 
I do know, however, that she, I think she has a comic uh, that came out or that is coming out. I'm not sure. If it's already out, I will look into it and then probably make an updated video. Um, if it hasn't come out yet, well, it's coming out and you know what? Finally, writers finally care enough to give her her own story. However, because Brian and Mike are a part of it, I'm scared as to what they're going to add, uh, as you know. One thing I'm not going to be is a hypocrite, okay? If I said I have an issue with them, I'm going to have an issue with them the whole time. doesn't matter if they're finally doing what I ask. It's too late. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to make a video about her because I think that she deserves it. And as I was saying before, the guitar versus thing. I feel like people put so much energy into just being, I guess, shocked that anybody would want to knock guitar down a peg. That they just forget about the other women in the show. Not even a man. Women in the show. That need to be protected as well. It's not like guitar needs to be protected or whatever. I like guitar. The popular opinions I had. Were just things that I noticed. And most of those things that I noticed. Had to do with one or two scenes. Because she's not always like that. And no I'm not one of those people who have an issue with her. Because of her mom dying. Anyways I'll get into that in guitar's episode. This is Suki. So with the guitar thing, I was just like, nah, I'm going to do it for Suki. We go up for Suki in this channel, all right? I'm happy that she also got casted already in the live action. So one of the things that I am happy about with the live action, even though as more of the casting is coming up, people are really like, oh, what's happening? I really do like that it looks like they're really going to give Suki something. They're going to give something to Suki. In this live action and she deserves that she is such a good character such a good character um to be honest she gives me ang vibes you know like she has like a pure heart and a pure spirit she wants people to be free and she's willing to fight for it you know she was growing up in a place where she was able to protect her people you know um one of the things that make her and Katara so admirable is that they're willing to subvert expectations to get things done. And this show has always done that. I think one of the issues with Legend of Korra is that they tried to do that too much or tried to overemphasize it when the way that it's put, you don't need to overemphasize it any more than it already is. I love Suki because she's never understated or overstated. She's just right. She's like that bowl of porridge in the Goldilocks story. She's just right. And I love her so much. Um, don't make me cry, but when she was there for Appa, beautiful. The way she knew how to take care of him, which means she knows about animals as well. Come on, all you animal lovers out there gotta love Suki. She knows how to take care of animals. She knows how to take care of the wounded. She knows how to approach things. She's an actual leader. I feel like if she was alive nowadays, it would be the equivalent of her being like, a military leader and knowing first aid and everything I love Suki because you can just rely on her I'm sorry like she's just super duper reliable she's not a jealous person she's not an extra person she just does what needed to be done and that's it when it came to Sokka and his nonsense she wasn't even sitting there being like huh this weak boy who can't even fight thinks it's weird that I'm a girl she wasn't even paying him no attention it was like, oh, you thought I couldn't beat your ass because I was a girl? Okay, whatever. He came and he took the knee. Alright? In the name of Daenerys Stormborn, he took the knee. And said, let me learn from you, queen. And she said, alright, but you putting on this dress? I mean, queen. Queen tings. Queen tings. I, I know because sometimes I side with guys, especially when it comes to... So for comic books and Avatar, it may seem like I don't care about women sometimes. That's not true. My only thing is, I can see when women are written well. And so when they are not written well, I'm going to say something. I'm not going to pretend that a woman is written well just because they're written strong. That's not the same thing. Think. Think. I love Suki because she's written pretty well. And of course... I was going to go on a big tangent about how they really didn't give her enough screen time or enough backstory so I could really pad this video out to 40 minutes like I would want to. 
But to be honest, I am glad they gave what they gave. They gave enough for us to love her. They gave enough for us to have discourse. And probably left a whole bunch of Easter eggs for us to think about what we need to think about. You know what I mean? So, that is that. Um, I want to talk about her relationships. I love her devotion to the Avatar. You know, um, she knows what he stands for. She believes in him. She trusts in him. And she's just there to be his soldier. She is his adore Malaje. She's at a 10 hunt. And I love that. I love that so much. We love people who love Aang over here, okay? We do. When it comes to her and Katara, there is this light sisterhood. It's very light. It's not as obvious as Katara's arc of her sisterhood with Toph. But, you know, once Suki comes around, they sit around together. They, they talk a little bit. It's cute. I like their comfortability because they're very similar, also very different. Um, like I said before, their differences could have led to a very interesting arc that I hope they make use of in the Netflix live action, but it's whatever. So, with Toph, she didn't really have much interactions with Toph, but that's what I'm going to say about, you know, all of the, the people that they put under the wayside. I'm making videos about all those people, all right? So don't worry about it. One of the reasons why I love Suki as well is because she was a great character reference for martial arts in general. One of the best things about this show is that they use martial arts to do bending, which is one of the reasons why I didn't really like um, some of Legend of Korra, because they tried to do away with that and do more of the mixed martial arts kickboxing type thing, which didn't really, which looked kind of lazy and it didn't look as fun or as interesting or as cool, just to, to put it plainly. With Suki's character, they brought it back to what it was. Well, let me not say brought it back. They had showed a different side. So she didn't have to airbend or waterbend or whatever to look cool. She'd use shields, she would use fans. She would even use swords. And I feel like we could have seen even more. Which is why I'm hoping Netflix live action they show us more. Sorry for bring up Netflix live action a lot, but this will be a new frame of reference for the character. It might not be canon, like I said, but it is going to be us seeing that character more and in a new light. So I do hope that they Show us more about fighting style. I love how capable Suki is with her fighting. I love how compassionate she is to the people who need her. And I love how willing she is to help with Tough of a Hat. Like, when they met her in Bossing Se in Season 2, right? She had things she was doing. But she was like, you know what? The Avatar is here. So I'm going to help the Avatar. Of course, later on, it was shown that she only came to make sure Soko was okay, but you know what? That's fine. She's a protector. If she loves, she's going to protect it. She loves Sokka. Fine, we can talk about it, her dynamic with Sokka. It's cute. I think that some of the best romance arcs is when you grow together as people. Um, I like how she helps Sokka grow as a man. Helped him see that his way of thinking isn't the only way. And that made him more of an interesting character to watch. Okay, so that's just it. Um, also, <clears throat> so sorry. Also, what I like about their relationship is that she helped him be a better fighter for later on. Right? So, Suki herself, despite not being a bender... She was very capable of handling herself in a fight. Alright? She, when she and her team were being threatened by Azula and them in season 2, she was the last one standing. You know, and you know how good Azula and her team is. So that is a big thing. That, that is a big thing. Alright? She's very impressive in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Alright? That style is kind of remis reminiscent of Aikido. Alright, she also fights with traditional Kyoshi War fans, which is a style that's reminiscent of Tessin Jutsu, and she's also skilled with a katana, which is what I call the sword. Sorry for me for saying that. Alright. No, she can also fight against Tai Lee, right? Um 
that is a very interesting thing. I've seen a lot of people bring up that scene when she was fighting Ty Lee and being like, Oh, did we forget that she brought Ty Lee? And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, it's not that we forgot, right? It's that that fight is kind of hard to categorize because they were fighting on unstable terrain. And when you're fighting somebody like Ty Lee, unless you go knock her out, what you're mainly doing is dodging. So it was a lot of block hits. So for somebody like me, that's not necessarily super interesting to see. So Ty Lee seemed more interesting in that fight because she was doing more acrobatics. And that's just how I look at fights personally. A trained fighter might have seen that and been like, wow, she was incredible. So if that is true, great. I think she's a great fighter. But for me, that fight wouldn't qualify because the way I like to enjoy fights, blocking hits as the whole fight isn't that impressive to me. However, I do think that she can hold her own against Ty Lee is a point to her incredible ability. Um, Suki also learned how to chi block from Ty Lee after the 100 year war. Um, so I think that is demonstrated in her comic or in one of the other comics after the 100 year war. I will have to check. Um, also that last scene, we got to see her really fight you know when she was doing the boiling rock stuff and she clamped in everybody's head and kind of just became spider-man for a second there yeah all that stuff yeah <laughs> this is suki love suki love all right so i just want to say she's incredible she's strong she's so pretty all right she's a good person she she probably knows that talk like soccer but she never was jealous about it ever. Never made her, never made either of them feel a way about it. She was just like, oh, well, I guess I know that. But she is confident herself. She said, Sokka not leaving this. So you can like him. I get it. I like him too. I also said, your life though. We still cool though. I love a cool girl. I love a, I love a cool girl. You know what I'm saying? Suki is that woman, that queen, that empress, that moment. She is that action packed. She is the Trinity that don't need a Neo. Except for that, that last Matrix movie I heard that was ass, but she just gives She gives Trinity from Matrix vibes in every positive way possible. And I love it. And I love Suki. And this is just my love video to her. If I mentioned anybody else, it was to raise her up or to give some context. I was making videos about other people as well. There'd be videos about Sokka and Toph. There'd be videos about the the, uh, the Bad Bitch 3, which is Ty Lee, Mei, and Azula. I don't know if I'm going to make a video about Zuko, only because there are a million videos about Zuko on this page. And at this point, I'm so annoyed with how much y'all love Zuko. Like, at this point, it's so nauseating. That I might just end up making an unpopular opinions video about Zuko and y'all are not going to like that. So I'm going to think about it before I do it, guys. Don't worry. I'm not, not going to shit on y'all like that. Um, yeah, it's similar to the Katara thing where it's like y'all are defending people that don't need to be defended. Which is why I had my unpopular opinions about Katara in those videos. But yeah, I'm the videos about all those people that I just mentioned. Because I need to. I have to make a video about Aang because y'all are doing too much. I will make a video about Sokka and everybody else. Um, the people I mentioned. If I don't make a video about somebody that you like, you can make a video. I'm not going to make a video about Uncle Iroh. We all know he's great. And I said he's great. I also mentioned some grievances about him in my Unpopular Opinions video. And I stand by that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay woke. Stay Kyoshi. Stay warrior. Anyways, goodbye sinners. Soo soo. I haven't sang that in a while. Look at me. <laughs>